Texas Tech and South Florida kicked off the Birmingham Bowl at noon ET on December 23 in a meeting of teams from the Big 12 and American Athletic Conference. Stay here for live updates, scores, and analysis. Tweets about from, Texas Tech or from, US Football or from, Comsilva or from, Teab Times underscore Bowls or from, Birmingham underscore Bowl, Function, D, S, ID, Var JS, FJS equal D get elements but tag name, S, 0, P equal slash HTTP, slash test, D location, HTTP, HTTPS, if, D get element beard, ID, JS equal D creatilement, S, JS ID equal ID, JS SRC equal P plus, slash slash platform Twitter com slash widgets JS, FJS parent node insert before, JS, FJS, document, script, Twitter WJS. Location, Legion Field, Birmingham, Alabama. Date, Saturday. December.23. Time, Noon ET TV Channel, ESPN. Betting line, South Florida is a three point favorite, per my bookie. The coaches of these schools will no doubt be familiar with each other, as Texas technicians Cliff Kingsbury faces South Florida's Charlie Strong three times while Strong was head coach at Texas. Kingsbury went 1 2 in those games. Since leaving Texas last offseason, Strong has posted strong first season with South Florida. The Bulls are 9-2 and ranked no. 23 in the AP poll their regular season ended in a thriller against undefeated Central Florida, falling 49-42 in a game that decided who was headed to the AAC championship game. The star of the show for South Florida is quarterback Quinton Flowers, who boasts 2,600 passing yards while averaging 8.1 yards per pass attempt with 21 touchdowns and 6 interceptions. He also leads the Bulls in rushing with 972 yards and 10 touchdowns. The Bulls also possess a stout group on defense, leading the AAC in scoring defense, total defense, and run defense. That's in contrast to a Texas Tech unit that ranked no. 99 in the country in total defense, but instead led the Big 12 in turnover margin. On offense for Texas Tech, it should be another lethal passing attack led by former Iowa transfer Nick Shimonek. The Red Raiders ranked no. 4 in scoring offense the high-octane Big 12 and could be as big a challenge to the South Florida defense as Central Florida was.